Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the normal force on inclined planes. So suppose we have this problem. A 10 kilogram crate is resting on a plane inclined 38 degrees above the horizontal. Find the normal force. So what I did is I drew a little diagram of this uh, situation. We've got our 10 kilogram mass right there, and then we have our surface inclined 38 degrees from the horizontal. So we put that down. And now the first step to figuring out uh, what the normal force is equal to is we're going to want to figure out where the normal force is, right? So if I draw our little mass here, we know that weight force is always directly down, right? That's the effect of gravity, right? And then uh, we can solve for our weight force using this uh, little equation. So weight force equals mass, 10, times gravity, 9.8. So our weight force is 98 newtons. So we can label it 98 newtons. And then when we want to label our normal force, we know that the normal force is perpendicular to whatever surface it's, surface it's on. So in uh, most problems where the uh, box is just on a flat ground, it's pointing up, right? It's opposing the uh, weight force. But in this example, our surface is inclined. So perpendicular from the surface would be going off like this. So that's what our uh, normal force looks like. So what we can do is we can draw this normal force going the opposite direction so that we can find its magnitude and this magnitude is going to be the same thing as this up here. We've just translated it down, right? And then we can complete this triangle by drawing another line here, right? So this is what we're trying to find our normal force. Now what we want to do is we want to find one of these angles so we can use sine or cosine to figure out our normal force, right? So if we uh, draw in this original triangle, right, something like this, or maybe I'll change colors, or I'll change colors so it's more distinguishable, just a red. So here's our, here's our original. And if we just fix this a little bit, where, that, there we go. So, we know that this is, just move the board a little, this, this is 38 degrees. And we know this is a right angle. And then we see, do you see the triangle right here? The little triangle? So we know that every triangle has 180 degrees, so 180 minus 90 is 90, and 90 minus 38 is uh, 42 degrees, so that's what this angle is. And now, you'll also notice here that this, these two triangles make another right angle with each other, right? Do you see it? So, if we're trying to find this angle here, we can do 90 minus 42, which conveniently enough is 38, right? So this is 38 degrees. So now that we have that, we need to figure out if we need to use cosine or sine to figure out our uh, normal force. So we know that we're trying to find the adjacent, and we have the hypotenuse, right? The hypotenuse, we just erase this. We know the hypotenuse is the weight force, 98 newtons. If you kind of tilt the board, you can see here's the triangle, right? And here's the hypotenuse. So we have adjacent and hypotenuse. And we know that cosine has both of those, right? Cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So we just fill in the stuff we know. We know the angle, so that's 38 degrees. And we know the hypotenuse, 98 newtons. And we don't know the adjacent, so our normal force. So we multiply 98 across cosine of 38 times 98, and we get that our adjacent equals 93.597 newtons, right? And that is our normal force. So you can see that um, 
if you don't want to go through this whole make a new triangle, figure out the angle, blah 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 blah, you can just memorize this quick little trick. Force normal equals cosine of theta times mass times gravity. And what this essentially is saying is exactly what we did. We found the cosine of theta, we multiply it by the hypotenuse, which was our uh, weight force, which um, is essentially what it's saying, cosine of theta times weight force, right? Because they're equal. And that's, that's what we did. We just multiplied across, and then we got our normal force. So that's basically how you find the normal force on inclined planes.